Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you about the pop-in sunshades by Volkswagen. So I'm going to talk about the Volkswagen pop-in sunshades. They're a, uh, a good alternative if you're not able or allowed to tint your glass or maybe you don't want to go through the expense. Uh, in my case I have both tinted windows and now pop-in sunshades. So uh, let's, let's cover these things real quick. They're basically perforated uh, fabric that's cut to fit each of the back windows, the, um, uh, the rear roll downs and the uh, hatchback glass. And they're held in by little retaining brackets and everything snaps in pretty quickly. It's, I, I got it, opened the box and had them in within about 15 minutes. Uh, the piece kit includes the three shades. I can't remember how many brackets. I want to say eight or ten. Two of them are unique to the back glass. And then there's a little pry tool so that you can pull the, uh, the, the back glass trim back just a, just a few millimeters, if that, uh, to get those pieces in place. And, um, and then you just maneuver the shades into place. Uh, the toughest one being the back glass and it's not tough at all it's just uh, super easy to get fingerprints all over your glass when you're trying to maneuver it all back there it's you just got to make a technique you know clean your glass if you're real uh, anal about that so here I'm on the road uh, to show you what it looks like my only gripe and it's really not much is uh, a minor loss of visual clarity uh, it doesn't look it, but it's about 6.15 in the morning, and it's it's dawn, the sun is about to come up, and so you can see the headlights are on, and by looking through the glass you can see it's just a little, a little perforated, uh, the look. And it's to be expected, it's not really a legitimate gripe, it's just um, something I thought I would point out. The only thing I don't like about it is it's a little tougher for me to spot, uh, say, patrol cars sneaking up on me, especially unmarked ones. I, I have a decent eye and can spot even the unmarked cars, but um, with the perforated stuff back there, it makes it a little difficult. So I've got to rely more on my side mirrors if I'm trying to do like a little stealth check. Um, gosh, the legality of it. I'd imagine if you're driving down the road and all you have is factory glass with these pop-in shades, you're probably not going to get too much hassle about it. But I have tinted glass and the pop-in shades. And that gives the car a bit of a blacked out look behind the driver. And here in Virginia, we're only allowed 50% tint on the front roll downs and 35% on the rear glass behind the driver. And uh, this looks a lot darker than that. So that's all I'm going to say about the shades. There's really not much to them, but I still figured I would uh, uh, share some information and some photographs. Feel free to ask questions. Thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe.